The next examples are examples of finding the trig values of quadrantal angles. As I went into great detail in another part of this lecture or video, um, quadrantal angles are special angles that lie on the x and y axis. So first one we're looking at is a cosine of a 270 degrees. Remember, we're always going to be working with angles in standard position, so we're going to start with an angle starting on the positive x-axis. We're going to rotate 270 degrees. 270 degrees puts us on the y-axis, and this is our terminal side. Now, anytime we work with quadrantal angles, we want to go back to a unit circle and make sure that we're going to use a radius of 1. That makes this as easy as possible. When the radius is 1, then this ordered pair down here has to be defined by the ordered pair 0, negative 1. So if we use the cosine of a 270, the cosine of a 270 degree angle, by definition, the cosine is the x over the r, which means the cosine of 270 is 0 over r, which is 1, or the cosine of a 270 is nothing more than 0. Final answer. In the next example, we want to do the cosecant of pi halves. Now, pi halves is equivalent to 90 degrees, so we're starting on the positive x-axis. We're rotating pi halves units, which puts us on the positive y-axis. Again, make sure that you're using, uh, for all quadrantal angles, use a radius of 1, which means this ordered pair is then defined by the ordered pair 0, 1. If we do the cosecant of, try to write that correctly, cosecant of pi halves, then we're looking for the ratio of r over y. So we're going to take the value of r, which is the radius of 1, and we're going to put over the value of the y value, which is 1, which is equivalent to 1. The cosecant of pi halves is 1. And finally, the cotangent of negative 90. Okay, so now we're going to get into some negative angles. We always start on the positive x-axis. When it's negative, we, we rotate clockwise. 90 degrees puts us on the negative x-axis. Again, it's a quadrantal angle, so make sure that you're thinking of a radius of 1, which puts this as an ordered pair, as we've seen once already, as 0, negative 1, since we're downward. Now, the cotangent of a negative 90 has got to equal, by definition, tangent is y over x, so cotangent is x over y. So that means we've got to take the x value, which is 0, and we divide it by the y value, which is a negative 1, and 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So that's all we need for it. So quadrantal angles, once you understand what you're going to do, they are the easiest ones that you can calculate. They're either 1, 0, or negative 1, and undefined. And this time we didn't get one that was undefined, but remember in the directions they say, if not defined, write undefined. And that would be if we found the tangent of a negative 90. If we did the tangent of a negative 90, it would be negative 1 over 0. We'd record undefined. So done with quadrantal angles.